Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! I stay up cashing in my bad luck. Some nights I call it a draw. Some nights I wish that my lips could build a castle. Some nights I wish they'd just fall off. But I still wake up. I still see your ghost. Oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for. Oh, what do I stand for? What do I stand for? Most nights, I don't know anymore. Oh, 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 So this is it, boys. This is war. What are we waiting yeah, yellow, for? Though, that's how he does I don't want. I was trying to be quiet so they could hear you sing too. This is it, boy. <laughs> Go, do it. So this is it, boys. This is war. What are we waiting for? Why don't we break the rules already? What you said, it had to be loud. And then you yeah, do. No, it. but he's like yelling. Go. How does it go? I don't know. Mm. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy, and this is Scarlett. Say hi to the besties. Hi. We really were singing that song in the car, and so we were trying to come up with a song that we both knew. She's. St I'm sorry, how's it go? How's that go, Scar? She can sing. Very good voice. She made concert choir. We were just talking about that. Anyway, well, of course, the gene pool's good. So what about mom, then? Okay, mom didn't get those jeans. She missed them somehow. They bypassed her. Guess what Scarlett and I just did, everybody? We just went to the... Dollar Tree in Spencer, Iowa. And we don't have Effingham here, so could you fill in? Mm. No, because everything at the Dollar Tree is a moo moo. And a moo moo. Can you do that? Moo moo. Moo moo, because he moos. <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what the heck's going on, it's a little crazy here. Um, this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five. Dollar and a Five. Quarter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's close? That's really close. All right, so we just got back from the Black Hills and we had a really good time and I wasn't going to do any uploads while I was gone, but here we are doing another video. And we should get two videos out of this because we think we're going to do a foodie fun day with grandchildren later on today. So, but I don't know what day you're going to get this video. It depends on how I get it uploaded. So anyway, we went to the Dollar Tree in Spencer right now. Or no, at the end of this, I'll insert the video from that Dollar Tree because I found a couple things that I didn't buy because obviously I've got to get on a plane. All right, so um, if you want to know anything about this channel, you can check out the description box. It'll tell you about the four uploads that I do every week. For my besties, you know exactly what's going on. I'm on vacation in Iowa visiting my beautiful granddaughter, Scarlett. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Do you see the family resemblance smile? Yeah, there's the dot. So, and Moses' birthday was the other day. We went to the Black Hills. And now we're back in Iowa, and the other grandkids are coming over later today, but Scarlett and I, two of them, Scarlett and I had to go to uh, the Dollar Tree. All right, so let's talk about what we found at the Dollar Tree this time. Let's start with something boring. I don't know, she picked this up. Juicy Juice, four for $1.25. Scarlett wanted these. Yeah, I like juice boxes. And there's a grape one, but this is a different brand. It's not Juicy Juice. It's very fine. It's very fine. Flip it around. You can see it better oh, without oh, the straws. 
There you go. Very fine grape juice. So she I'm got some grape push. juices. So you should talk about everything that you bought. Everything that I bought? Let me talk really quickly about when I walked into this Dollar Tree and um, I went to go down the first aisle and they were stocking, which they're always stocking at Dollar Trees, right? I yeah. feel like every time you go in, they're stocking. Not really. Not the one in Spencer. We only have one. I go to several. They always seem to be stocking. I totally just dropped where we live. I already said it was in Spencer, Iowa. Oh, okay. There's lots of people that live here. They're not going to find you. And there's a lot of redheads. They're really not going to find you. <laughs> there's not a lot of redheads in Spencer, Iowa. There's a lot of redheads. Okay, so I went to go down this aisle, and I go walking in, and I found something new. And I go to pick it up, and she goes, she goes, be careful. That's why we have, we have the aisle blocked off, because you don't want you to trip and fall. And I was like, oh, was it blocked off? Like, there's... Like, there was a cart with boxes on it. There always is a cart with boxes on it in Dollar Tree. But anyway, I go, well, can I just grab these few things? So I want to show you what I found. Well, first of all, um, Bargain Mama Amy, she found this first. So I found it second, and I was like, ugh, I want to find those. But this is a, it's a, I wanted to see what the heck it was. So I'm going to show you. It's a pen, apparently, a pen. It has a dinosaur on the top, which has a pop it, right? So, you know, you can play with your pen. Pop, right? But apparently this is a pop bubble snap pin. Oh, um, right, pop play. You know what I thought it was? I thought it was for popping bubbles in the air. You're so dumb. My besties are gonna get mad at you again because they thank you for defending me, besties, when you said you're so stupid, and then they're like, she's not stupid, she's funny, she's humorous. Like, yeah. Boop. You're Here, so we're gonna mad. pop your bubble head. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's a pen with a dinosaur and a pop it on top. <laughs> I was looking for that pop bubble. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You could do that with it. Think about it. Like the dinosaur could reach out and pop bubbles. If you had a bubble party. You could do that with this beef stick. You could. You could pop bubbles with anything. That's why I was curious about it. It's like, why is it? Why? Why? Oh, I can't get it back in the package. Anyway, I'm going to get it, give it to Momos because it's, like it's like a boy pop it pen. With a dinosaur on top. All right. But then I also found this, which I think this one's really cute. So this is Chatty's. I haven't heard of this before, but it's distributed by Gina Concepts. So it's not Green Briar. So I feel like it's something different. So it's a keychain with a Pop It um, t-shirt on it. Did you want this? No. Good, because then I'm going to keep it. I really want a keychain with the Pop It on it. Because I, like, seriously, I would have hours of fun. Anyway, so, and then they had a couple other things, but I couldn't really look because... The aisle was blocked off. No, it wasn't. I even said to her, I go, yeah, but I just walked right there. <laughs> I guess it's a walk way in. Yeah, there's an matter. aisle, and you and then, have yeah. two sides. And one know. side was blocked off, and the other wasn't. Yeah, so like, I just walked in. Mm. So I should let me pick these things up. And then I found this. Now, I think this is super cute. So this is a notepad. There's notepads with a poppet toy on top of it. It's a twofer. A twofer. Do you want this one? Okay, I get to take that home too. <laughs> I'm gonna take it to work to make notes on and play with my little poppet at work. Anyway, I think these are super cute, brand new. Poppets, you know, they're all over right now. So okay, let me show this thing put in the freezer. Okay, yeah, and then put it in the freezer. They're Skittles ICs. Yeah. Are we gonna try those on Foodie Fun Day? Maybe? Yeah, well, if we do I Foodie figured. Fun Day tomorrow. I figured because we haven't tried them before, so. Okay. Well, if so. it's Foodie Fun Day, what day is today? Oh, today is only Thursday. Just it Friday. doesn't matter. Foodie Fun Day thought, can be any day now. It was Foodie Friday. It was Foodie Friday. And then that, then Marcus started doing it with me, and then we started to do it on Sundays, and then it's too hard to do every Sunday, so we just call it Foodie Fun Day. One of my besties suggested that, and then we just do it whenever we can get one yes, in because we have busy schedules. Food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you got these two things. Well, those are mine. And those, that's Moses. This is for Moses. And it's, it's, I've tried these before on Foodie Fun Day, so you guys have seen these. And then the kids love these, the Takis Explosions. So, yeah. Okay. So there were those. Mm. Mm. Um, this is for Foodie Fun Day. I've never seen these before. Planters, salt, and vinegar peanuts. I believe I got the honey roasted before. You guys are going to tell me if I'm wrong, and I know you are, and that's good, because you should, because I never remember. So I know I've gotten a little jar of planters, but I'm pretty sure it was honey roasted. And these are salt and sea salt and vinegar peanuts. I don't think I've tried them. Well, even if I have, we're trying them again. We need to make a foodie fun day pile over here. All right, show, show something. What was something you got? We need to put these in the fridge too. Show something you got. Marcus. Let me show you something else. I got. Marcus loves these, and so I got one for Scarlet and Moses so they could try them. Should put those in the fridge. Okay. Okay, what did you get? You did get some, you got a lot of stuff actually. 
There's a hole in my sock. There's a hole in my sock. There are lies yeah, really there lies I'm just going to take them off. Take, taking off your socks, folks. And we're not going to show you. You don't get to see that part. But your yeah, jeans are yeah. super cute today, by the way. Thank you. Mom got them. Scarlett has some super cute jeans today. Okay, what did you get? Um, you got this, a lot of stuff, this actually. This little pile right here. Yeah, I see that. Looks like that. That's not mine. Mm -mm. I got candles. This one is Lavender Fields, and it smells like lavender, and it's Luminescence. Luminescence. It's the... This is the Dollar Tree brand. Go closer. Get all the way up to the camera. See the green dot? That's the camera. <laughs> Wait, there we go. But these are the kind they have there all the time. Yeah. Does it smell really good? Yeah, it smells like lavender. Maybe the besties want to smell. I yeah. love lavender. Let's see. They might want to smell. You're so rude. Smell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> it does smell like... This one does smell like lavender. Right? Yeah. I love lavender. That's, That's a strong thing one. ever. I'm going to put it over here because we've already hauled it. Everything that we haul goes over here. This and one then, is, oh, I opened it all right. It's Summer Seas. It's Luminescence 2. This is a different, like, setup, though. Here, do you want to smell it? It's like in a miniature, it's like in a miniature mason jar. Yeah. Well, the they had the lavender one like that, too, but I liked how that lavender one looked better. These are, this the is aesthetic. also Luminescence. There was another candle. I don't know where it went. Oh, do you think it's See, it says car? Mason. Oh, right it says Mason on it. Well, I love to craft with these little jars. I just think they're super cute. Well, I'll send you that jar when I'm No, nope, don't send me any jars. I can buy my own jars at the Dollar Tree. Thank you very so much. Well, what about this one? Can you buy that at the Dollar Tree? You can buy the yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. Okay, this one is also luminescence, and it's fresh linen. And oh, I love fresh linen candles. It smells so good. That one does smell good. It just smells fresh. I have so many candles at home I can't it. buy anymore. Look, this is what it looked like. This one came in a box. I yeah. got so many different kinds of candles. Just make sure you blow them out before you leave home. Yeah, I know. Public service announcement. Don't start fires. Do not. <laughs> okay. Um, I got Rapid Dry Top Coat. This is LA Colors because I need more top coat because I am, oh my gosh, King. She's got Dollar Tree nails on today that we yeah. bought when we were in South These Dakota. Are lavender. They're so colored. long. I, well, I know just press ones from Dollar Tree. I don't Tree. know. This is like medium length. I've had longer. Oh, no. I've had mm -hmm. way longer. No. Well, first of all, I can't play piano if they're too long, so there's that. I don't know how to play the piano. Yes, you do. No, just, I don't. You just, you, you used to. Yeah, for maybe six months. Anyways, I need more top coat because the one I have doesn't reach all the way to the bottom, so I can only use like half of it, which is stupid. And this one does reach to the bottom. The What's brush, you mean? The brush, yeah. Because the brush I have for the other one only reaches like halfway. That is dumb. But if you use this all the way up, maybe you could just switch the brush on that one that you still have and then use the end of that one after you're done with this one. Or, okay, makes it a twofer. Um, it's a speed stick. It's avalanche. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> Since you gotta smell everything, smell a vision. Let me smell it. It's men's deodorant, but it but smells pretty good though. Men's deodorant works better than women's. <laughs> about their opinion. Oh, there's. Oh, we should introduce the besties to Juanita and watch out. We're filming right there. Don't oh, knock sorry. it over. To Juanita and um, Mattis, the two chihuahuas that live here. Oh. Mattis, come here. Mattis. Okay, so since she's walking away, I'll go into more stuff. No, I got it. Oh. Okay. Charlotte, I bought. You'll never guess who we're filming. Ran into we're a filming. Oh. Yeah, this is. This no, is oh, pause. We no. got to pause. No, this is, oh, this is worthy of that. Oh, it's worthy of this. Yeah. Devin's mom just um, texted us because they are in the Black they're Hills. They're in the Black right Hills, now, yeah. Where we just, where we were, just were. And they're at Custer Park. And they stopped, and they were they're there, and they gave these couple of kids some carrots to feed the donkeys. And the parents were really nice and everything. And they walk away, and Mark says to Julie, "Was that?" No, Julie didn't know who. It Julie was. didn't know who it was, and Mark said to her, "I think that was Ashton, Ashton Kutcher and his wife." <gasps> no. They looked back. They Googled no. them. No, my dad asked him if it was Ashton Kutcher. Oh no. My dad asked him. Mark and Julie. Just talk to Ashton Kutcher Let me pull and his wife know who it is. and their kids at Custer Park, where we just were. They just but we didn't go down the donkey area because Devin wanted, didn't want to go through the traffic. Wow. They Maybe wouldn't have been, been there. Kutcher. Well, they wouldn't have been there. Well, he was married to Demi Moore. All right, back to the Dollar Tree. Oh, Ashton Kutcher! But now, but now he's in Mila Kunis. Yeah, know? I know. Yeah, so yeah. But they were in the 70s show together. On vacation at the Black Hills. Oh, and Devin's picture. parents just friggin' gave their kids carrots to give yeah, the donkeys. Like they didn't know who they were. They were just like, oh, you guys want carrots to feed them? 
Well, okay, I bet the celebrities will love that, though, because I know. Maybe they'll, they'll Google it. about them later, Twitter about oh the nice gosh. old couple they met at Custer Park. I hope so. We don't Did you Twitter. tell them that your mother was an influencer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I you didn't meet him. <laughs> I, I wasn't finished. I had a lot of shit. Shh, we didn't say oh, that. Sorry. Besties, I apologize for my daughter's truck. Right, close the door, though. Okay, go. Okay. Back to this. Back to the speed stick. It's a mini travel size deodorant because I'm going to a youth camp. And mm-hmm. if you put it, like, where your thighs usually rub together and you start chafing, it stops that from happening. <gasps> that is a fabulous tip. Right? Okay, but you get you got to get the gel one, though, because the gel one works best for that. <gasps> Girls, that is, and guys, if there's any of you out here, that is a fabulous tip. I'm going to remember that. But get the gel one because for works the next best time for I go to summer camp. And then men's deodorant works better than women's. Ain't Ain't that is like a really good tip. That's a very good tip. Okay, I found more lime juice, so we bought it here for just for the remainder days of drinking. Mm-hmm. I forgot to show Juanita. I showed Mattis. So. Oh, did you show Mattis? Where's Juanita? They, their outside. little chihuahuas are Juanita, so cute. Juanita, come here. Hey, baby, come here. Okay, while she's doing that, I bought something for my daughter who just walked in, so now she can see what I bought her. These are brand new. They're called yogurt cups. Check this out. You unscrew the top. There's your cup. Then in there is your little your little spoony thingy that oh, that's just cute. super cute. I don't know how this works. Hold on, we're gonna figure it out. You oh, you look, there's your spoon. And then on the top, you can put your toppings. That's cute. Put it together. I got that for you. Thank you. Also, I really want to show the besties, so. I just had to get it so I could show them. And then, and that's the yogurt cup. Brand new. They had it in like a peach color too. This is Juanita. Juanita, say hello. This is Juanita. She's little Juanita, puppy. kisses. 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 <laughs> Juanita's cute. Okay, so that's the yogurt cup that I just got Emma. I had to buy stuff for them because I'm leaving, so I'm not going to take all this stuff with me, right? Not done yet. Okay. Oh, I found a book. Can I talk about my book really quickly I found? Yeah. So well, this was $26. And it's the Chicago Cubs story of a curse. So it's about Rich Cohen, by Rich Cohen. Anyway, and it's about the Chicago Cubs. So I have a really good friend who is a Chicago Cubs nut. And there's pictures in here, by the way, in the middle. And I was like, what a great book to get somebody who's a Chicago Cubs nut, right? So $26, I got it for $1.25. Woo, can you, you can't beat it. You Praise Jesus. Beat it. Hey, Zeus. Okay. Baby Jesus. I got three books. She's a avid reader, her and her brother. Whenever I talk about buying books for the grandkids, it's usually those two. Because they love to read. This one is How, How Could, Could she? she by Lauren Meckling. There you go. I don't and it was it's normally about, like, a woman and she moves to New York City after like or a man. A woman? Yes, because her her fiance breaks up with her. It was normally seventeen dollars. It's a paperback. And you got it for how much? Um, dollar twenty-five, and then this one is Little Threats. This is a mystery one. It's by I don't know. You can just read it, Emily something. Emily sixteen dollars normally. Yeah. I mean, dollar twenty-five is like you bought them back. used at the Goodwill price. Yeah, you no, know that's what I mean. Cheaper than Goodwill. Is it cheaper than the Goodwill price? Yeah. yeah. So and then this is the there again. Ones. Emma's cussing on camera. This is a hardback one. This is a hardcover. This one would have been eighteen ninety-nine. Dollar twenty-five. It's about like two kids after a school shooting happens, and oh. like she was the only one to survive in one of the rooms, and oh, then he like very now. I don't know. Everyone like just stopped being friends with him. Something about like his mom defended the shooter, so there's only like one friend that he has now. So everyone else left him. Emma's making lots of noise in the background. It's by just Liz. The okay, the lucky ones by Liz Lawson. That actually sounds like a very good book. Right? I got it. Okay, good job. All right, so um, what is this? You bought this oh, too, right? I just bought shaving cream. It's Smooth Guide Shave Gel, Luxury Men, Sensitive Skin, Aloe Enrich. <laughs> Do you identify as a her or a her him, or are you non-gender specific? Because we're buying men's deodorant and men's, men's shaving cream. Men's deodorant works better, though. But you look so feminine. <laughs> Men's yarn works better. I got it. Yeah, hormones. Okay, so <laughs> show the rest of your, your nails. Well, okay, yeah. I got just show, you can just one, two, three, four, five. Five nails. These ones are blue with cow print. Look at the cow print. They're in the there. same length and same shape as these purple. I like the ones. cow print. And then these ones are just peach, which are also the same length and same just shape. Still look really good with your hair color, with your tones of your your yeah. Those are good colors on you. This one is like white and orange. Very Halloween-y. You can't 
Okay. Yeah. It's hard to see, but they're wearing orange. You can't say weenie. <laughs> Halloweeny. Halloween. Don't worry, you guys. I passed my humor on to the children. These ones are pink. I actually have those shorter. exact same nails at home. Well, we're going to match. Not, no, well, we don't live near each other, so. That's we can okay. match via Facebook. This is brown Time. and... I don't have Facebook. FaceTime. Whatever. You know what This I mean. is brown and gold. Snapchatting. I think they're cute. Watch out, Emma. You're making noise, like, right by the camera. Oh, yeah, you're gonna go. Oh, they're, it's gonna sound so noisy. Okay, so let's move along. Um, I bought these. I'm just gonna show you. You know, I love wall arts. So this is a brand new one. They had one left. I've never seen this one. It'll fit in the bottom of my suitcase. They're all good. I can't wait to do a craft with that. But Emma just redid her bathroom, her guest bathroom, and she like was trying to put some paper top, paper. I mean, wallpaper stuff on her ceiling, kind of like this. And I was like, Emma, the Dollar Tree has these ceiling tile, retro ceiling tile things. So I bought enough to do her ceiling with. I will do before and after, only if it works. I think it's going to work, though. I think it's going to look really cool. So I grabbed those while we were there so I could do that for her probably tomorrow morning or something. You got a spray bottle. I got a spray bottle because I have curly hair, so I can't brush it dry. And I'm going traveling places, and I can't take my huge one because that just takes up too much room. Which at the end of this video, I show some other brand new spray bottles that they had in there that were super cute. They're a little squattier. Yeah, I decided yeah. to get these ones out. No, that's fine, but I'm just like, they had some other ones. Yep. Okay. Um, these are, oh wait, this. Freeman. Brand name Freeman. I bought this for Scar. It's Leave On Mask. It's a water gel mask, cactus and cloudberry. Sharon will look this up and tell us how much this is really, but it is not a dollar twenty-five. And so this is six fluid ounces of um, Freeman, which is brand name, you guys. So you're gonna should we smell? Does it smell? Oh, it does smell. It smells good. That smells really it smells good. Smells fruity. So it's like just so so you, so it's like a. It must just. It's like an orange kind of color. Yeah, it must like harden on your face, and then you. I don't think it's a peel off, right? No. It's a dry leave on mask, and then. I'm gonna mask my Instantly hand. Instantly refreshes brightening and nourishes skin. It's a leave on mask. Direction. Well, it's gonna be fun. Whatever. Apply to a clean face and neck, avoiding contact with eyes and hairline. Leave on for an optimal results or rinse off with warm water after 10 minutes. Use twice per week or as often as you. So actually, you can either leave it on. Oh, I could just leave it on here then. And then like just not take it off. Or you can leave it on for like 10 minutes and then, and then wash, wash it, off. it with warm water. Ooh, I think I'm gonna put some on later then. Do it. Just try it. Okay. Then, um, so another per, uh, public service announcement, which I taught you guys all about time about this. So anyway, we're traveling, and I literally thought I grabbed these, and instead I grabbed the the deodorizing wipes for under your arms. Oh, I should show you those, because those are amazing for traveling. Anyway, so I picked one up. Then Scarlett and I were talking about it, so we got one of each scent, <laughs> so we can smell and compare the scents of those. We don't need to talk about those anymore. All right, it's embarrassing for her. Not for me. I can care that. All right. Then, this is, I've never seen this before. So this is a charcoal moisture eliminator. So this is a charcoal uh, trap, excess moisture, eliminates tough odor, prevents water damage. So I bought it to give to Emma because they have, they have a basement and whatnot. And I thought it might be interesting to put it in, in her laundry room, which gets a little moist because it's, it's a laundry room and it's like in the interior of the house. So I bought this for her. They also have two chihuahuas, and I thought, just to try. The charcoal's amazing eliminator. So this was in their household, housewares aisle, like with their brooms and stuff like that. I've never seen it before. It was not with the candles or the um, smell good room stuff. It was in that aisle. So I don't know if that's normal. But I've never seen it before, so I picked it up for Emma. It does have like the, you know, the beehive kind of thing to soak in all the stuff. Okay. Um, some items that we're going to do for Foodie Fun Day. This one, I've picked it up before. It's sitting at home, but we bought it here to do it here. So we're going to do those. Where's our Foodie Fun Day stuff? I can't remember. And then these. Oh, I'm so excited. And this is Gouda Cheese Crisps. What? I bought two boxes because I'm assuming they're amazing. So we're going to try those in Foodie Fun Day. And then also, we bought three different... Ranch dressings. And what we did was we bought the frozen pizza sticks, the tombstone pizza sticks that they sell in the freezing department. We bought those to try these with. So when the grandkids are here, we're going to do a ranch taste test. Now, you know, Marks and I love this one. And Kraft is good, but it's not as big a bottle. And so we're going to just try all three and see which one wins. And it's going to be a blind taste testing, so nobody's going to know. And we'll see. We're going to see which ranch dressing is the best at the Dollar Tree. Okay. 
And then um, this is brand new. These are so cute. Look at that tree. I love that. I'm absolutely in love with it. I wanted to get like a ton of them just so I could have that charm. I knew Emma would like the bottle, so I went ahead and bought it because I'm not going to take it home. But I wanted to show you guys brand new product. have not seen that there before. And then we got two art projects. So we're going to do one of them for you at the end of this video. Right, Scarlett? That's not ours. It's no, I, I just said I was going to wait to put the groceries away. Yeah, we're that. almost done. So, okay, so we bought, I bought these to make for Emma's backyard. And these are those fairly new bottles, right? There's the green, the purple, and the white. And then I got River Rock and a thing of twine and then three um, of the solar lights. So we're gonna make three little solar lights for outside. That's our, our craft for this video. But we also got a craft that you and I are gonna do, which I'm gonna try and do a short. I've never done a short video on YouTube. You're gonna help me? Cause I don't know how to do it. She's gonna figure it out, she's a teenager. So we bought a little canvas and these. Okay. Yep. What are we gonna do? I don't remember. I asked you if you had your acrylic paints. Oh yeah. Scarlett likes to create and paint. She's very artistic as well. You sure you're not lying? Actually, your mother is an extremely good artist. Yeah, she is. So we were gonna do, um, we're gonna ombre paint these and do a little butterfly canvas thing. You guys will see. And I think it's gonna be super cool. And we're gonna do that together. We have one more item to show. Do you want to show it? Oh yeah, okay. So it is a giant can of Heinz relish. For comparison, that's my hand. This thing is insane. It was a dollar, do you have any relish in the fridge? No. No, we don't have. They we don't, don't have relish. We don't, we, relish. we bought it and Marcus is like, how are we gonna get that in the suitcase? We're not taking it home, honey. He's like, and I go, no, we're not taking it home. I just, but we'll donate it to some food bank here locally. But can you guys, this is 99 fluid ounces of, Relish, Heinz relish for $1.25. Can somebody explain this? And Pick it's up the watermelon. Genuine. It's as big as the watermelon. I can't get the watermelon. Get the watermelon. Look at this. It's the same size as the watermelon. This is one of those 10, what do they call them? 10, number 10 cans. I think it's a number 10 can of relish. Somebody explain and tell me why. So it looks like the best till date is like in 26, sometime in the year 26. Do you yep. know why? No. Moses, say hi to the besties. Hi. Well, they can't see you. You have to I come know. over here. You don't want to see you? Moses got a mini bike, by the way, for his birthday when we got home. Didn't you? And I gave yeah. him some amazing. You did. You're a good sister. Okay. So that's it. All right. We're going to pause, and then we're going to film our little uh, craft here. Okay? So stay tuned. We'll be right back. And she's driving, wait, what? And we're driving where? To the Dalla Tree. Let's see what they got in this one. Oh, how excited. Are you excited, Scarlett? Oh, that's a girl. That's my girl. Comes to Dollar Tree all the time. There it is. It's like a beacon in the night. stocking mode. Don't know what I'm missing, but it's all in these boxes. <laughs> okay. What do we have? Um, these are jars. Green, purple, and white. I'm gonna take the tags off. Or, I mean, as best we can, we'll take the tags off, yeah? yeah. 
Sometimes they really stick. Look, I got it. You, did you get yours? Good, get that nope, out too. I'm just kidding. Okay, we don't need to. We'll take tags off later. Let's just leave that. Thank you. Do you want that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, and then we have these stones, decorative accents. They're like river rocks. I believe is what you said. It says it on there. What does it say on the packaging? It just says stones. No, it's look, I accents. untied this one. I'll untie that one too. Oh. Yeah, it just says stones. It does decorative accents. I untie okay. the netting because we save the netting. I don't know what the goal is here. I mean, so we're gonna put the rocks in the bottom of each one of these. I can't open it. Here. What? Here, this one's open. So you gotta carefully put rocks in there. Here, Scar. I got it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, they're open. We're gonna evenly divide, okay? Hold on, they're in like two separate bags. I'm so lost. Is it the same bag? No, it's like Yeah, there's bags. two bags in there. They, they double it so that it won't. Well, you would them fill out. So obviously cracking packaging. <laughs> Ooh, that was bad. So evenly distribute those. Normally I would keep my bags because these make phenomenal fish netting for a little fairy garden stuff or something. I might start them. Okay. Then, <coughs> the goal is to <coughs> take these and push them in so they're sitting in the rock. I think I put too much in here. No, no, you can put more in the other one. Because we, you're going to evenly distribute it. So the reason we're putting the river rock in is so that this will sit inside of it. So we're just taking, oh, sorry. Abuse. <laughs> yeah. I will Grandchild abuse. abuse. So, and then we have to open these up and pull the, the thing out so that they'll actually, like, see, now that one's working. And then you put them in, look at that, see? So it's like that. Ooh. And put them back in and put them in there. Okay, how do I? Yeah. Then I put it in this way? Mm -hmm. And then you get it down into the rock. Yep. Oh, well, I just did that very right You can shake it, the, the bottle around if you need to. Yeah. See how then it ends up sitting in there like this, like just below the... Oh, well, mine isn't. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We might put too much rock in. We're going to cover up with a lot of light, but that's okay. Just for this, you'll see. Then I dropped my... I dropped this. Now we have our rope, our nautical rope. Do you have scissors anywhere nearby? Yep. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the nautical rope. These are like surgical scissors. Yeah, they are. Because <laughs> mom's a nurse. Yep. So, um, oh, sorry. Oh, Ready? Oh. I know. We're going to take this and measure around so that we have about, um, just cut that piece right there. And this is about probably um, 18 inches, I'm going to guess. Wow, good scissors. But we're going to cut two more pieces like that because we have three jars here. You want to give yourself some Mercy Air Med. Here, go. Oh. Oh, I can't get... It hurts my wrist. I know, right? It's not... These are not the best scissors. Find good scissors if you're no, going to do this. No, these work. Okay, and then one more, because we need three. And we might have cut them a little bit too long, but that's it's okay. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so now that we have those three strings, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each end and untwist them. We're gonna find the point where they would join right here when I wrap it around, go. right? And we're gonna untwist, you can do it on yours. Oh, okay. See, so we're gonna untwist it. So then I'm on, on the bottle, I criss I wrapped around, crisscrossed, and now I'm untwisting my string. So what we're doing is you see the crafter's version and then the one who like doesn't craft. <laughs> yeah. And so this is how you see how your This is going to be <laughs> You craft? Did you make that pillow that's on your bed, by the way? Did you crochet that pillow? No, I had a friend do that. Oh, it's so I don't cute. craft. 
You do craft. I send you craft stuff all the time. Of course you craft. You have to craft because I send it to you. Okay, so now once I've done that, what I'm going to do is take my opposing strings and I'm going to take one piece from each side and I'm going to knot it. Do you see that, Scarlett? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of work. So and what I'm going to end up with is like four knots because I'm knotting together the individual strings from each side. Okay, so I'm still doing... That's okay, you can still do that. Unraveling. Okay. So again, this is like... Crafter. Crafter and then non -crafter. like... Non-crafter. Like pro and like a noob. Like this is like... I'm just, I'm just... Okay, I hope you guys can see kind of what I'm doing here. So the idea is that we're knotting it and we're just getting like little, a little, little knots, but we're tying this bigger, thicker thing together. So can you guys see that? And so now I have all of these wispies here. Okay. So I'm going to actually cut these. Is there scissors back in here? Yeah, probably. I'm going to cut these like this. So I didn't, I probably had an extra four inches on these, but I wasn't sure. Was sweet. And then I'm just going to like okay. unravel them. So we sort of have like this cute little boho-ish kind of tie on it. I can't see. I got to turn it around. Anyway. Yep. I'm just getting to the tying. <laughs> and then you can, if you want, you can untwist these. Oh, I got to unravel these small ones. Yeah. And then you like get like a wispy thing going. Mercy, 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 sakes a lot. And then you just like really wispy it out. So you just twist those individual ones and they will unravel. Okay, POV, you don't craft. <laughs> what? POV, you don't craft. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you get it. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't do that enough. I'm going to keep unraveling these. Oh, and you can get like a comb actually and like comb these out. It's kind of cool. Okay, so, and I'm going to cut this side a little bit shorter. I'm actually going to cut this Did a little bit shorter. Did you do like too. each individual little strand? Yeah, that's what I was doing right now. I was sort of starting to like, no, no, no. So no, not each individual one. Well, that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's a cool way too. I just did the three, the four individual strands. Well, I know they started all oh, getting unraveled. But so that's kind of cool, too. Kinda... She's actually doing the individual ones. Okay, so here's my here's my little knotting thing on there. It gives it kind of a cool little vibe. And you can, um, it's like so coming down. But it'd be kind of cool to put well, like I'm a faux flower or something on here. Them together. Yeah, you can do however you want to do it. And then when we cover them up, see how they light up? See that? That'd be a cute little... So we might have too many rocks in there. Oh, it's like doing There we go. Hands. See? Look at that. All right. So we'll come back and show them to you when they're all... How you got in that scar? She's got a whole nother thing going on. Yeah. But anyway, that's fine. It's cute. Super easy, you guys. These cost... Um, for the set of three of them, it's one, two, three, seventy-five, and then three seventy-five, which would be um, eight, and then the rocks, so two fifty-eight, like ten bucks, under ten bucks for the three of these. So cute, including your ribbon. Yeah, hold on, we'll show them to you all lit up. 